Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terra. I hope everyone is well. We're still working on the November set. I know it's super duper late. I do apologize, but just keep in mind that the messages are good for the entire month. So some of these things may have already played out. They still have about a week or so to play out. They could be playing out right now. So I'm gonna shut my pie hole and throw down some cards for somebody. I'm like throwing down cards for Gemini. You're up. Okay. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I think it was this one. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that the Tattoo Tarot has inherited my air sign readings. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments for those of you who watched the last top and bottom of the deck readings. I don't know. I'm feeling this one tonight, so we're just going to go with this one. And I'm trying to keep it in the box so it doesn't bow up as much. We'll see how that works out for me. All right. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2020. It resonates with you. Cool. Again, it is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine, guys. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. Feel free to check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. If it does not belong to you, if it is simply not your message, don't. Just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's that easy. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. Okay? And again, keep in mind, time is fluid. So, could have played out over the last few weeks. Could play out over the next week. Could be playing out right now. Might not have even played out in November. I have no control over what messages the universe gives me to tell you. So, also, energy is fluid and can't even be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. All right, without further ado. Gemini, why are you here? Five of Wands. Y'all be spatting with somebody? A little fighting and confrontation going on right now? Everybody getting all riled up about something? How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of Wands. Maybe they're a little bit in and out. Kind of a playboy, playgirl. Maybe they're not sure if they want to commit. What do you think about them? Six of Swords in the reverse. Always coming back. Hmm. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that. What do you want from them? Five of Cups. Hmm. There's a lot of hard feelings coming off that card. Ouch. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, how do they feel about you, Gemini? The world, in the reverse, nonetheless. Another card of return. Hmm, maybe I can go back to that. What do they think of you? The Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you're having an upward turn of events in your life. Or maybe perhaps you're getting ready to close this out. What do they want from you? Ace of Coins. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting card. It's a very interesting card to come up right now. That's the card of new beginnings. That's the card of new abundant beginnings. That's the card of planting a seed. A slow growing seed. Oh, we need to clarify. I'm not putting anything else down until I know what's going on with this. And my Gemini friends. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my Gemini friends, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 2020. Couple more shuffles. Get them good and mixed up. I did get some new decks over the last week, week and a half or so. I have fun playing with them. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Um, that's good. 
I'll babble more at the end. I just want to get this out. All right. Huh. 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 Queen of Swords. Oh. Okay. That why y'all fighting? This this is an air sign card, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Specifically, it 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 is it is a court card that very strongly represents Gemini. Queen she, you know, I can't pick a favorite queen because I love them all. I love them all equally. But I, I do have to say, she knows how to use that sword. She does. She knows how to use that sword to cut people out of her life who just nothing but crap, right? Oh, speaking of crap. Oh, I hate that. Hold on, I'm gonna shut that phone up for a second. Hold on. Hey, hey, you. You're going on silent because I don't want to listen to you right now. Okay. She uses that mighty sword to cut people out of her life. She demands truth. She demands respect. Absolutely. And never mind the pronoun. It's the energy coming off the card. I think maybe that's why y'all might be spatting. I think somebody's been a little bit disrespectful. Possibly in and out of your life. I don't want to say what I'm about to say, but I feel compelled to say it. People come in and out because we allow it. I'm just throwing that out there, Gemini. I'm just throwing that out there. All right, why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? I'm just saying. You might, some of you might be embracing that Queen of Swords energy and saying enough's enough. Just saying. Oh, did a flip, landed upside down. The Knight of Wands has moseyed back in for a return, possibly. You think they're back for a hot minute or so? Maybe, maybe. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Kids getting a bath in the uh, bathroom next to my room, so. Where were we? Hmm. Knight of Wands. In and out all the time. They come in quick. They leave just as quick. Could be some karmic unfinished business. That's how you feel. Back for showtime again, maybe? Can I go one more? Oh my gosh, okay, I'll take two. King of Pentacles reversed. Hanged man. That's not an abundant offer if that King of Pentacles is in the reverse, by the way. It's actually quite the opposite. It may, you may kind of feel like it's time to cut yourself out of the gallows and accept the fate of the situation. Okay, why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Hi. <sighs> Sun card. It's a card of divine union. G. They do bring sunshine into your life when they come back. One more. King of Cups, and there's overwhelming emotion. You feel an overwhelming emotion for this person, for this connection. There is indeed a connection. They've come back one more time. That's fair. Can I get one to even the energies out? Just one. Just one. Just one. Hi. Empress. Yeah, first card comes out. 
very large part of you wants to make this work. You want the family with this person. You want to make it work. You want it to be abundant. You could, you could have children with this person. You could want to have children with this person. Problem is, you're fighting all the time. You may not be getting the respect that you demand. Why is the Five of Cups here? Four of Swords reversed, Three of Wands reversed. Rest this energy, no longer waiting. One more. Can I get one more? Even out the energy, so help me make a little bit more sense. Let me know I'm on the right track. Did you want to talk? I think you wanted to talk. Chariot reversed. There's sadness here. Restless energy, no longer waiting. Chariot. Chariot in reverse, another card of return. Also possibly being pulled in two different directions. Also, the chariot's at a dead stop, not going anywhere. So, what do you want from this person? I'm feeling like you want them to know how it makes you feel when they leave. I don't know why I felt compelled to say that. Sorry. How it makes you feel when they leave. I think a very large part of a lot of you get pretty restless and you're just done waiting for them to return. How long are they going to stick around this time? All right. Can I throw a couple cards on this world card reverse, please, for how the other person feels about Gemini? Can I get a talker? Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I got the up all night card. I can pick it up. Got that trick hip going on right now. I have a pain, literally a pain in my butt. Okay. World reversed, nine of swords. Somebody's up all night. They're all up in their thoughts, all up in their head, thinking about it. Sleepless nights over this return, over this unfinished business they have with you. The on again, off again. Can I get one more? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Seven of cups, five of pentacles. What path are we going to go down this time? Am I going to get to come in out of the cold? Wow. Wow, Gemini. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for what they think of you? Wow, Gemini. Can I get one on the Wheel of Fortune? The right card will talk. Queen of Pentacles.
You've become quite the catch. In their eyes. Wow. Hmm. Too bad in your head they're showing up as the King of Pentacles reversed. They might want that nice shiny pentacle. And everything that goes along with it. They're seeing the upward turn of events in your life, in your situation since since the last separation, possibly. Ace of Swords, somebody's not too talkative, though. No. Somebody's not too talkative. Maybe they qu don't quite know how to approach the situation. They're all up in their head. Maybe the last time y'all talked, it was fighting and arguing, and my Gemini friends may have used that mighty sword to say, Enough's enough! Deep feelings and emotions for this person, but they're just in and out all the time. One more. Can I get one more? Come on. One more. You want to talk. Where'd you go? You're right there. You want to talk. King of Swords. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stubborn, guarded, showing up as the king and the queen right now. Gemini, I think you're about done. And they see it and they know it. Mm. What path are we going to go down this time? Am I going to get to come out of the cold? Why is the Ace of Coins here for what Gemini wants from the other person? Wow, Gemini. Wow. Oh, what do we got? Ace of Cups. Oh my God. Ace of Cups. One more. The two Aces. I caught it. That was going to land in the upright. I caught it in midair. I'm going to flip it up. Hierophant came out. High priest. Huh. Okay. So, the blessed union, the cup of love, and the pinnacle, the start over. One more. The Ace of Wands. They want to give. They want to start over. They want to start over. They could well want the blessed union. Hmm. Well. Conflict. The death card comes out. That's loaded right there. That is loaded. Potential meanings. Someone has evolved spiritually faster than the other. One of you has over the other. Change needs to happen. <laughs> and that's what the obstacle is in the connection that a metamorphosis needs to occur in somebody. Somebody gonna break, somebody gonna bend. Possibly. I'm gonna throw these two downs just so I don't have to pick that deck up again until I give advice. I don't even think I need to clarify that. I'm just going to leave that alone. 
potential resolution. Maybe swords. Oh. Hmm. So. Soft spoken, fast messages. I'll throw one on that. Can I get one on this Navy Swords, please? It's a start. I mean, Gemini, how you feel about them is the King of Pentacles reversed. Which was on top of a Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Blech. Knight of Wands. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, come in quick. Leave more quickly, if not as quick. Don't have a lot to offer when they show up. Somebody needs to come in with the truth and possibly an apology. Can I get one more? Well, gee. I think Gemini needs to make a judgment call here and decide what they want. Or the other party involved needs to make a decision who they want to be. Do they want to be the Knight of Pentacles or do they want to be the Knight of Wands? Oof. Because if y'all don't decide what needs to happen, the universe will. Outcome. Nine of Cups, I mean. Either way, Gemini. Your outcome's Nine of Cups. One cup away from happiness. Do they? Are they going to come in with that tenth cup? Because so far all you've really gotten is five. You know, are you going to come up with the tenth cup or are they going to stick you with nine? I think either way it'll be okay, Gemini. Let's get a little bit of advice for our Gemini friends coming up on the end of November. <laughs> Hangman in the reverse, five of pentacles in the reverse, two off the top. Why not? Eight of cups, ace of cups reversed. My father had a phrase, don't ever let anybody put you over a barrel. Hmm. Don't allow yourself to be bullied into a situation. Absolutely not. Don't let this emotionally hang you up. Don't allow yourself to be bullied or backed into a corner. And if they're going to keep coming back in, spilling cups over and over again, 
or not coming in with a full cup, you know. I see this Eight of Cups, and I think the representation, I, I can't remember what deck it is, but across the hill and over the mountain, across, okay, across the river and over that mountain, on the other side of that mountain, there's like a lake with a dock, short dock. They're going to just keep coming in spilling your cup or not coming in with at least a, you know, half full cup or coming in with a cup, kicking your cup over, riding off again. Tell them to just take a long walk of short dock. I mean, that's how I'm seeing this right now. But, you know, it's up to you, Gemini, whatever you want to do. But the universe is calling for judgment and change here. And either way, you're going to be okay because you got nine cups. You do. Got nine cups. If they're not coming in with that tenth one. You know, it's up to you what you do. I, I, I'm, I'm just here reading cards. I'm not here to tell you how to live. Do what you want. It's your journey. But live your best life. Do what's best for you in the long run. Thanks for coming by, Gemini. I appreciate your patience. Be blessed. And your December read will be out hopefully before the end of the day on Thanksgiving because I really want to be able to celebrate my birthday on Sunday. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just hoping to have all the cards read by the end of the day Thursday. Take care. I'll catch you next time.